Good morning, ladies and germs. This is the last part of the tone tracer side of the project. Uh, we'll go over how I drilled the holes, uh, the template. We'll drill out the uh, the end part here for the battery, and we'll drill the final hole for the actual antenna. Now, I don't have a part number for the actual antenna because I'm simply just using a wire. Uh, you could use a, a 1032 bolt with a nut on the end and file down the end of the nut and solder a wire to it and use that and just simply put some heat shrink tubing over the over the threads and there's your antenna. Uh, you can you can get really get creative with that one, uh, and I'll leave that up to you. You could use anything you want. You could put a B and C connector on here and have that just go connect to that. You could use an F connector for coaxial. Uh, you could use any kind of thing you want for a center conductor. So. It's, all you're doing is making a connect. You could use a coat hanger. You could use anything you want. So I'll leave that up to you how you want to cut the end part of it out. All right. So that's essentially all we're going to do today is cut the outside of this out. I'll show you how I drill the holes out for the speaker and the switch. And I need to revise the part number for the speaker. I want to do that. Uh, so, any bill of material as of today, and and as of today will be, it'll have the, the correct speaker for it. Any 8 ohm speaker will work. But we want it to fit in the component in, in the enclosure. So, so that'll be next. And the speaker's not that large. It's like this it's the size of a United States dime maybe a little larger but uh yeah it fits the uh it fits the speaker and this is just something I had a light lantern laying around and I can figure out what the part number is for it let's see other than that yeah we're gonna work on that and then after that we'll be working on the tone generator part of it the tone generator part of it and that'll do the other half of the magic. Okay, now uh, let's see. I got some parts in the mail. I got some switches. And let's see, I still need some the bicolored LED. I ordered a bunch of those. And let's see what else. I'm gonna have to find some uh, surface mount capacitor values that uh, that I only have through hole for and I want to use surface mount for the whole project so we'll get into that later so let's finish up this enclosure let's get this part of the project done but this is going to be part three of the inductor tracer the tracer side of it start drilling holes board layout and I'm just gonna use a scalpel and cut this out the program I used to do this you know, the front panel is from the, uh, the front panel designer it has a uh, software for all the major operating systems
scalpel is not very sharp today. Actually, it doesn't look too bad by itself. So there we are. Nice clean hole, dead center. And here we are. I'm just gonna press it into the thing. Yep, yeah, she lines up. I just need to put some screws in there. And uh, let's see, I don't want to take the uh, panel off yet because I still have some drilling to do. We can knock that out now. We're looking good. I'm going to go with the smaller bit on this one. Then I'll countersink by hand using this bit here. I'll use this as a countersink and I'll do that by hand. This thing is floating all over the place. I don't like it. Ew. take this uh, template off now and we'll see what we've got underneath see what we got yeah 
So I'll do the countersinking right now. And should clean these right up. countersink this also. find some screws and uh, mount that board in there and just do a dry fit what do you think so here it is installed in the board yeah that's good just as good as the other one this one's got a different type of button and I took the uh, a membrane switch off of the off of an old television remote, and that was actually the most difficult part of the whole project was getting that aligned with the tactile switch. This time I'm not bothering with it. You could do it if you want to, but you just need something to you just need a button to press. That's all you need, and we need to get a speaker for this. So. Here's the inside. We need to get a speaker mounted in there. We need to drill out the back of this to accept the 9 volt battery. Right. I have this set up for to cut out the battery location for this. Simply turn this on. The RPM is up. We have a lot of plastic on that thing. I don't want that breaking off on my bed. I don't remember having this problem last time. Hmm. I have to cut that off. Maybe the uh, speed is a little too fast. Made a nice cut, but Jeez.
in the final cut across the front here. Break the edges here and I'm pretty much done with that. Okay. So, last part is cut the hole right here for the antenna, and that's that. Alright. Kind of messed up right here. Yeah. What happened there? Mmm. Just, I don't remember doing that, but I guess I did. Nobody else to blame. I think that's when that when that piece of plastic got wrapped around it. I think that's what was doing that. Yeah, because the rest of the the rest of it was nice and smooth. It came out real nice, but yeah, I had the speed too high. The speed was too high, and uh, I was going at twenty thousand. I'm at eleven thousand now. So, yep. Okay. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, let's see. My volt battery certainly fits in there. Alright. Room to spare. I could actually get the whole circuit board to go across and have the circuit at the, the speaker actually mounted to the board and maybe I've even had soldered connections through hold soldered connections going right to the battery I probably could have done that as well and there might have been had I cut a little bit of this out this is all other stuff I could have, I could have done that and just had this go right into the battery right onto the circuit board could have done that I could have easily have done that it's not too late. I can re spin the board. I'm not doing that though. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. Alright. So let's cut the uh the end hole out there for that. And we're good to go. So let's set that up for that. Let's get that dead center. So there's that. Okay. So that job's done. Next is the tone generator. Thanks for watching.